Hey, you guys, we are back to do the Married to Medicine reunion part one, and it was I, right, you know, but let's go ahead and get into it. We keep it real. Welcome back to another video, Courtney Ed. I'm Ed, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife, Courtney, also known as Coco. <laughs> Coco. Anyway, this is Courtney and Ed. This channel is all about relationship reviews, entertainment. It's all about famous rants and jokes. And tonight, we're gonna be talking about Marriage and Medicine, the reunion part one. Part one of three uh, parts, right? Yeah. One for part one, yeah. So if you're brand new to this channel and hit subscribe yet, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. All right, you guys. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So um, part one, they coming in, Simone almost trip chat, trying to get up at that SUV. Now, they said 5 a.m., so they have to get up earlier than that to come down there and to get ready and to stay there a whole bunch of time to, to film three parts. Chat. That's why they get paid the big bucks. They they big they big yeah, bucks. They more than uh Red the Love people. I'm <laughs> <laughs> still people, so they get paid some pretty good money. So um so anyway, so they getting out the car. Um, you know, of course, you know, they're going to um what's the name? And they're going to the different dressing rooms and stuff like that. So they were showing Letitia put in that sticker, that thing where Heavenly was big, when she was that big girl back in the day, um, she put it on her dressing room door and she ran. So I think it was her, um, her and, um, what's the name? What's the husband's name? Dr. G. Damon. Oh, Damon. That Dr. Damon, they were, um, you know, they, that picture floating around social media, but anyway, and it says something like, um, she, she, what do I forgot what she put on there. Um, she had wrote some on there or whatever. And so, you know, have a like, who did it? He, he, he. So, yeah, you know, and I think personally that is to get back. And I must agree with um, Sherelle's word. When they were talking about that um, Letitia, Sweet Tea is talking to Mariah. I must have, I, I admit that. I agree because the stuff that, Sweet Tea just did. That was done to Mariah when she was on there when Heavenly went in and put a, a mustache on her, you know, on her mm -hmm. picture or something like that in the dressing room door. So it's kind of like a get back. And I, I, I think that's, you know. I, I thought they have the sound. <laughs> I don't know why I'm starting, that's starting to grow on me. She's starting to grow on me. I don't know why. I don't know why. She, it's kind of weird, ain't it? Because she, you don't like Sweet Tea, so yeah. No, no. Even Dr. Heavenly laughed how she talked. Even though she gets on this, it's kind of weird. It's a little hate relationship. She gets on my skin, but you know, I guess I'm getting used to it. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to make a, a statement as far as their dresses and they look. I ain't like none of the looks. That's me personally. I know some people on social media, but if you got to give a review of who looked the best, I would say I like. Um, and it's just plain Jane. Um, heavenly look the best you know what i'm saying as far as her dress it looked plain but the rest of them was doing way too much for me it was like okay it's the napa valley scene garden and you know what i'm saying stuff like that and it was just like uh what's her name Qua just wasn't giving it was like summer dress like easter it was the and phaedra was way too much they had to help that woman she couldn't even walk to get in there what was it for I was like, ah, so the dresses and you know, jacket just gonna always be like, honey, she didn't came out of revival or something like that. No, I just want revival ish, but anyway, but I ain't like none of the looks that just wanted to make that point, you know what I'm saying? I'm not different than like Paul Ugly Weed, but let's move that on. That was a wig. Oh, for real, I thought she dyed her hair. That was a wig. Wow. Ooh, I'm so naive. I've been got. Every woman <laughs> on there just about wearing a wig. I would have been. Yeah, yes. yeah, I thought that was her real hair. No. That's weird. Wow. I don't think none of us have seen Quartz's real hair. Now, I would say that Toya probably rock her real hair or maybe her edges or something like that more than the rest of them, but yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, so 
um, you know, and then talking to all of them, you know, individually <coughs> and stuff like that. And he had said something to Heavenly. And it, let me tell you this. Heavenly, y'all may disagree with me, but Heavenly has truly met her match because Letitia don't care. <laughs> and she is giving Heavenly the business. Out of all the seasons I have watched, I have never seen Heavenly so pressed. And when this girl say something to her, she ready to clap back and she go gut low. Just like Heavenly said that she made a post and she said, y'all, I can't get on YouTube no more because her husband said, nope. They done went and told on her because she done called that man, uh, that woman husband, a P file. Oh, yeah. I, I, I kind of heard about that, you know. And I said, man, y'all going way too far with this, man. It's not that deep. Uh, but if it's going to get gullible like this, it, it, it's going to turn a lot of people off. Oh, really, yeah. Because man. Cause now you calling somebody without proof. But I don't know if she had proof or not. But to call him a pedo like that, yeah, that's too much. Right, man. you know, was she was she was she joking about Dr. G being that because he married a younger woman? With, uh, I think so. And but still, you ain't had to call him that. Yeah, you call him like a uh, you know sugar daddy or something like that. Which he is a sugar daddy. You know, when you're saying that, you you speaking the truth. But that don't cut like like the calling somebody that. Yeah, I know. And she hashtagged that. I think she went back and changed, but it was too late because folks done got the screenshots and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah. So to me, Sweet Tea have her press that you would go that deep to call this man that I think that he your dentist. You know, I mean, like and you're she, his dentist yeah. and stuff like that to call him that and just talk about because the woman was talking about. Sweet T said that what she said, um, she known and that like people don't go to her in the industry or something like that. I don't like see that. why she allows Sweet T to press her because Sweet T don't bring, you know, Sweet T is just loud with her. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff she brings to me, in my opinion, don't have no substance to it. Yeah, you know, it's just loud does. and, you know, and she's younger and maybe her being animated like Dr. Heavenly gets on the Dr. Heavenly skin mm -hmm. because who else is on that show that's animated like Dr. Heavenly? Mm -hmm. Nobody, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you got this younger woman coming on here. She's just as animated as Dr. Heavenly and maybe that's why she's pressed. Right. Because to me what Sweet Tea is saying, what she's bringing it's not nothing of substance substance to me, you know. Right. But it's the way she's saying it, I guess, mm -hmm. it's pressing her. Yeah, she pressed, honey. So, yeah, she said her husband said she got to get off. They done told on her she got to get off. And so then she going to say, well, she going to be on her Patreon. And people in the comments like, so Patreon, now you charging for people to watch the review? I guess people going to be paying for it. And too. then some people say, nope, I ain't going to do it. Then she tell me it's free. Um, Can somebody please help Heavenly? Now, there is a free version if you make your Patreon public because we have one but there is not a free patreon for people to go you go behind the paywall because it's more private and inclusive not to you know but if you got a public patreon yeah it's free and if you make that post public but what would be the point but anyway child, help help the woman honey so heavenly was just saying that you know um sweet tea like a long island iced tea and Letitia clapped back and said yeah you like a malt liquor she said it like that now y'all giving Heavenly giving this woman some ammo to, to clap back fast now. To yeah, clap back fast. Yeah, okay. But anyway, so they were showing clips of Phaedra this season, how everything went or whatever. And, you know, they made the big deal about, you know, did Phaedra really change her flight because she didn't want to be on there with Quar and she lied and stuff like that. Basically, Phaedra's like, listen, I wasn't trying to go down with the Titanic. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was a, a sinking ship, and she want to go down with it. You know, Quad felt some type of way. Um, Dr. G, they talked about the $4,000. Phaedra said, I ain't never date. Now, date me, I ain't never had sex with that man. That if y'all want to, I ain't she them that doing all that, you know, right. whatever. I ain't never had sex with that man, but um, she said, now, I guess they went out on a date. Dr. G said they dated. Now, I don't who's, know. Who's lying, though? Is they going to ask Dr. G because it's coming up. Yeah, Dr. G lying, you know, because why would Dr. G lie about him dating Phaedra? Mm -hmm. what, what, would, what would he gain from that, you know? And, what, you know, it's like somebody is not speaking the truth here. And, uh, and who 
Well, that's a four. Oh, four thousand dollars a month. Four thousand dollars a month to and date somebody. Yeah, you know, it's cheaper women out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, four thousand dollars. I mean, I wish a woman. Oh my, you date me, you gotta give me four thousand dollars a month. You lost your rabbit eight mile. I ain't gonna pay you no four thousand dollars a month. Yeah, I can go around the block and date somebody for twenty dollars a week. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not twenty a oh, week. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, but, you know, the I famous one that cheap. The famous forty dollars. I give the famous forty dollars. So, um, so yeah, that's the big discussion. So, Doctor G gonna talk about it and stuff like that. Um, they was also talking about you know, um, heavily dressed being too small, and then Simone made a, a weight joke at Heavenly and said, "Listen, um, I think she said something about Simone dress or something like that. She said, listen, I weigh one hundred and twenty pounds.' So, you know, Heavenly was like, you know, um, you know. But anyway, um, so let's move on. Phaedra said, um. Let's see. Um, Phaedra was talking about because you know is as we saw on the show that it's times where um that time when they was out sitting outside and that's when they was like you know really getting on quad and quad said uh Phaedra said da 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 and Phaedra said da 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 basically Phaedra was like all that stuff that quad said about me she said I don't want to be friends with nobody that when they get pressed then they start dragging me. And Quad said she didn't drag her, but you know, we heard what Quad is said. Oh, yeah, yeah. And who <laughs> is that really your friend? You know what I'm saying? Right. To me, a friend, even though y'all gonna have disagreements, they're not gonna drag you behind your back. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna say, well, we had a disagreement. I'm mad at her, but that's my that's my girl. We're gonna cool off. That's a friend. You right. know what I'm saying? You can, you can be able to disagree and y'all can still chill, you know. But if me and you have a disagreement, you go around dragging by my back, you're not a friend, you're a snake. Yeah. And that's just my opinion. Um, they were showing clips of Toya this season. Toya was um, you know, all the stuff she went through this season and um let's see. Toya was talking about how she grew up. And it basically it seemed like that Toya grew up poor. You know, she was talking about what's them leaks called? Uh I don't know. No, no. I, I I heard of them. We just call them Wolfies back in the day. Uh, you give them pay less shoes, man. Uh, Did they say Wolfies? No, they didn't say Wolfies. They just called it something else. But okay. we just call them Wolfies back in the day. Oh. And when you came to school with them things on, oh, you was going to get cracked on, cracked on, boy. I remember my time. Who they like kids? Yeah, I think it was like kids. But you know, Cougars? Mm -hmm. The shoes? I had bought I think them. So. Man, my mom always some Cougars, man. Uh, man, they cracked on me so bad, man. We, ooh, look at him. He got some cougars on. He got some woofies on. I said they're crying. No, you did. <laughs> no, I ran home, though. Don't run too fast. They might fall. Oh, my God. <laughs> but yeah, I understand what Toy you saying. Once you've been through stuff like that, you get ridiculed, you cracked on because you were poor. You don't want to have that feeling no more. You know what I'm saying? I know people that went bankrupt. Okay. And they said, man, they adamant about making sure they don't go back to that road, down that road again. So once you've been through the icky icky, you don't want to go through. You don't want to go back through the icky icky. So I can see why she acts the way she acts. It, you know, it basically sounds like it's trauma. Yeah, it do sound like it's trauma. Um, so they was talking about the wine and you know her having to pay that thousand dollars and stuff like that. She kind of explained that, but the thing was, Andy said, um, "Heavenly, you didn't have to put Toya on, you know, in blast, front of the mic. Yeah. Yeah, blast, like she said, yeah, I was wrong." And um, she yeah. always do that though. She do something. She do. She would do something underhanded. And people call out on. She said, "Yeah, I was wrong," but you do it anyway. Yeah. So it's like I'm gonna do it. I apologize later. This is what she said on her YouTube channel when she said, "I'm a," she said, "I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna take it back." You already know she's yeah. gonna say something. Ain't gonna be the saying. You can't have your cake and your ice cream, but then, then I mean, she probably could. Uh, she did. They had showed the clips of the throwback. So this they ten years, so they doing little throwbacks, and they showed the clip where Jackie was basically telling Heavenly she wasn't no real doctor. Basically, you know what I'm saying. Even though she was a dentist, and y'all sitting up there and like they friends. I know that was a long time ago, but Jackie had a, a bad habit of just kind of putting down other people. If you wasn't what on her status, you know what I'm saying? Because and it was like in a dentist, a doctor. Yeah, they, are. they go to school. Know? They pay their dues. Get what they had. So they are doctors. You know, uh, doctors of the teeth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. What needs to happen, they need to have a female doctor that's like a big boss, you know what I'm saying? You know, like have their own major clinic, but 
several doctors working on them. Yeah, humble, yeah. humble. Jack. Yeah, that's how you humble or get somebody like that. Cause I drive down the street down in Birmingham. You got some doctors that got their names on the building. Yeah. I'm talking about on, on the, not just on the office, on a major building outside. Oh yeah. So yeah, so that's what needs to come on the show, and that would really humble, humble. Uh, Doctor Jacket, because yeah. no, yeah, you just a doctor with a small office in a small building. I got that three story building over there with my name on it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they showing clips of Jacket her season, um, this season, and you know, of course, the vice president, her, you know, talking to the vice president and stuff, and and the ex, you know, uh, what was it like? And she was saying that um, Jacket said that they that the vice president president was excited to be on this big platform so they was more excited to be on married to medicine honey than anything that shows you what's wrong with this administration right now <laughs> man that's sad man and i hate to say it, i don't see them winning uh next uh bonus cycle because they really you know we can talk about yeah okay. man all bro, right man. let's God, move on. so anyway um so they were talking about so, man, so, he so, me so, more. so anyway uh <laughs> <I'm sorry. yeah. laughs> so Talk about this big platform. Heavenly was talking about, you know, um, you know, you rubbing up against that. My, I, I be trying to help him, like, y'all, because he have his Heavenly, bed. come get us, Doctor Head. <laughs> you right <now. laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, Heavenly was talking about, you know, Jackie got invited to the the vice president invited her to, you know, an HBCU game and stuff like that. And I was asking what my ticket was. And Jackie said, really, it was not the president. It was her staff. They sent me an email, asked me that I want to come. When Heavenly stop kissing up to Jackie, like, stop being her cheerleader, her mouthpiece, shut up. I'll ask you a question about that. Then. You know, maybe it's a woman's, a woman's but name. But you made a good point, and I'm going to say it, but go ahead. No, not I think that Heavenly really be trying to get up under Simone's skin. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I, that's why I'm about to ask you why she, why you think she did it. Why yeah. she don't think, why? Why do you think she do that? And here's the reason why, like I said, because you gotta understand, Doctor Jackie and Doctor Simone, they go way back, twenty plus years, way back. Now all of a sudden you get Doctor Heavenly swoops in to try to unseat Simone from that spot, and she know it gets on Simone's skin, and that's why I think she be trolling Simone like yeah. that. So, yeah, so yeah, it, that right there. I mean, whew. anyway, so they were talking about Ozempic and stuff like that, and Heavenly said because they asked who tried it. And yeah, I don't know, a couple people raised their hand, but Heavenly said that, you know, it didn't work for her. She tried it, she stopped because she heard that you're gonna gain the weight back, which I heard that as well. You try it. If you stop it, you're gonna gain the weight back. Jackie said, Well, it's more so of a lifestyle change. So you gotta change your eating habits. Yeah, because you think you can get a quick fix by giving right. yourself that, it ain't gonna happen. You gotta go out there and work out. If y'all don't want them big facts, y'all gotta push back them big jacks. Push them big jacks back and big jacks hamburger. Push them back because you don't want them big back. Because them shots, <clears throat> it don't happen. Ow, ow, ow. Don't you stop? That's how they get themselves the shot. Oh, get that thought they doing they bad. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not fat. I don't want to have to lose weight like that. I don't have to get myself in them shots. So I don't know how it's done. But yeah, uh, you looking like that for a double chin. <laughs> chim, chim, so chim. anyway, um, also that Jackie was talking about how many times that she has to tell a patient, you know what I'm saying, that that patient, that they patient husband or boyfriend been out there out there uh, in the what the test come because back because of you know like this one lady said she consistently had yeast infection. She said, "Baby, they make yeast infection, so probably some kind of bacteria infection." So it's times where they have to, she have to, you know, speak the truth. Who that, Doctor Jackie? Mm -hmm. She need to hire me. I'll be the one to break news to him. Woo, girl. Your dude, man. Oh, boy, out there doing his dude. He in them streets. He in them streets, man. He he probably visited the home. It's not a good visitor either. Mm. No, they wouldn't need you. Uh -uh. Yeah. He had no compassion. I showed them. He goes, why? Hey, maybe you should be doing more at the house. Yeah, I'll be right. I've had no compassion. Fashion. No, uh, they probably doing more at the house. He just choosing to go out and get his cake and eat it too. Yeah, I say, well, you should let him have a side piece. If you had a side piece, y'all knew each other. Y'all get tested. Come on, please. Let's yeah, stop. They, we no. complete. Let's stop. Ain't nobody want to pass the stuff back let's about. Stop. Let's stop the eating. Okay. That's what did they have back in the day? Yeah, that's back in the day. They didn't have all this stuff that they got going well, they on. They did. How you know they had yeah. STDs? Yeah, yeah, they did. They probably had other I'm stuff. I'm talking had, about in the biblical. They days. had uh, what do you call that? Uh, 
when people walk around, they want not syphilis, but they had. I don't know, but you ain't finna get this demonetized hush. <laughs> so anyway, um, so Andy was talking to Jackie about her um what happened on social media we all know what happened on social media and um and, you know jackie said that was the hardest time for her practice she didn't say for me for her practice <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> she said that was the hardest time you know that she had to sit in it and um uh, and she said it was the hardest thing for her practice and everything um phaedra said she chimed in and said jackie i understand because i understand getting dragged on social media people not understanding and trying to counsel you because you know what Phaedra had going on over there on the housewives and she's saying i understand and um jackie said Phaedra was the first person to reach out to her when that happened mm. and she said that you know she named the people she said toya reached out to her you know um um uh, simone of course you know um came over there you know because she was like she was just so like broken i guess for a, a while mm. you know because of that and i personally didn't think that jackie should get counseled i didn't think that people should come up against her practice i just think that she really need a reality check and she should have just sat in it you yeah, know what i'm saying did, though. yeah did, but no did. i'm talking about all the hate and all the stuff that people were saying and trying to cancel her and then she all got right. patients coming but out and all that stuff whatever so i just think that because i feel that jackie just feels like she's perfect that you know what i'm saying all right right but the thing is once you become you know somewhat of a celebrity whatever you do in your past they're gonna find it you know what i'm saying so you might you might as well just get ready to you know from the dig it up that's just part of it i don't care how perfect you think you right. is right now i guarantee you, you probably said something back in the day they will come back to hunt you. Yeah. You know, probably, and you could be just joking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey, they probably find them some on this. Yeah. So they, you probably just joking around, but they're going to use it, twist it, and do everything they can to hurt you with it. So that's just part of it. You know, I've seen a lot of people, they went back and found the old tweet or old email. It's just, you know, unless you, you was like a, a straight arrow back in the day, they, you know, you don't find something. And and that's true, but they going to only dig it up. If they don't like it. If they don't like it. Right. If they got something going on, they only going to dig it up at that time because how many people heard that and then didn't, didn't say nothing at that time, possibly, but it took her being on this show and talking to uh uh the president about you know uh mm -hmm. what she was talking about and then they went and they said hold up now this don't even much match that's, that's a trip how people tear people down when they reach their height you know what i'm saying okay jack is not a good example i know she's not a good example but still she did something she was doing something she enjoyed she talked to the vice president and people took a, that opportunity to find old tweets to tear it down with you know not what i'm saying tweets. The video, well, video, yeah. whatever, but right. they found something to tear it yeah. down with. Which, you know, I, I get it, but why are you bringing it up now? Why didn't you bring it up before she talked to the president? Which Vice is president. why they felt like Heavenly said I mean, she had to call Quad because Jackie said she ain't heard from nobody. She didn't hear from Quad. And Quad said, well, you know, I sent you a text, you know, and stuff like that. They was trying to prove the point that Quad don't check on you and nothing like that. Quad said I had my own stuff going on. Um, but it come to find out that Quad said that the heavenly called quad and said listen did you have something to do with this tape being released you know what i'm saying this right here um heavenly said no is that what everybody thinking i mean quad said no is that what everybody thinking she was like yeah it's been rumored that you had something to do with releasing that see that's what i'm saying whoever released it did it in a did it for a malicious re malicious, oh, yeah. a malicious reason and uh to me like i said before if you had an issue with what she said back in the day, why wait to now to release the tape? Right. You should. You could. If you had an issue, you could release the tape right then and there and, and voice your opinion then. But you wait till the woman talk to the vice president and oh, you contradicting yourself. This is what I got. You know, you ain't you ain't right. You ain't true. You ain't real. Oh, you saying, man? Don't wait till the opportunity. To me, it's a, it was somebody did it for um, a malicious Hell reason. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, for sure. Um, yeah, and like I said, I didn't agree with Councilman Hunter. No, no, not at all. I just think that sometimes, and this not the way it do it. Sometimes people need some humble pie because sometimes they don't think that they they make mistakes and stuff like that. Oh, she and got I think humble. That, yeah, hopefully, yeah, she got hopefully. Humble. Oh, she got um, humble. And you sitting there crying and 
try and make yourself cry on a video. Well, that's what you said. Try. Uh, is that humble, though? Well, you know, she her? was just trying to look for compassion. And I think, you know, somehow, it, it, people feel like if you cry, you get compassion. Yeah. And that's what she thought she... Because, like she said, you know, it was a struggle for her. She'd never been in that predicament before. Right. Now, you know, hey, the, the roosters come home to... What's those things? Crow? Roosters? Crow. Um, so now they showed the quad season the list she had. So they quad showed <laughs> what she had going on this season. And quad tears up and said that, um, you know, the part where they kind of kicked off the show, it was hard for her to watch that part. Quad did apologize, you know, for the stuff that she did to Toya. She said that, you know, it was a nilla that really and truly was talking about that, uh, what is it, Toy? What, what Toya did. So she was repeating it. And um, she apologized to Toya for it. And but the thing is, let me tell you something. When Quad goes in, she goes in gutter. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing that these girls they throw shade, they do this. And I know y'all didn't say Toya didn't did her stuff too. I had to deal with it at that time. But Quad, she kept going harder and harder and said, Yeah, she did that. Oh, she did and make it out allegations oh that really truly could have landed toya in jail you talking about the break-ins yeah the break-ins mm. the the uh you yeah, know she it. had something to do with it you know all the cheating it was just she kept going we watched that whole season yeah. it was like she was vindictive yeah yeah for some reason these women they go too far in my opinion yeah you know with the you know with the heaven to say about dr g the toy and the break-ins, y'all could have got the law involved, mm -hmm. and somebody could went to jail over mm -hmm. that. And I'm saying, they are they allowing this on TV? Right. You know. So yeah, come on, man. Throwing shade or uh, look, that's understandable. That's that's reality television for you. But uh, accusing somebody of breaking somebody in, and breaking somebody the house and breaking their house multiple times mm -hmm. and saying, yeah, you know, she did it. Yeah, man. Then now you got this person you claim they broke into the house. You got her on edge now. You know it's just it don't make sense, man. Yeah, it, 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 it's too it's too much. It's way too much. And I think that Quad just can't understand. You don't like me. You can't stand me. Da 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 da. And that's why because she just went too far. She kept drilling it. But anyway, so she apologized, and I think she kind of like. You know, but you know, said some stuff or whatever. And Toya was saying, I was just accepting your apology, you know. Um, but anyway, she also was just saying, you know, um, even though Simone had said that she was cheating with a contract and stuff like that, like they done said stuff. Oh, yeah, they have said stuff, but it's the way you say it, and they don't keep going on and on and on. Quad was like, she was trying to stay on that show, she was trying to bring the drama or whatever she did. Oh, she had a mission, she had she had a purpose. And you can tell. Um, they also was talking about what Quad said that, you know, she said that um, when they, the Napa Valley situation or whatever, Toya said, I invited you, Quad. The Quad said, you yeah, ain't want me there. She said, I'm the one that invited you. You know, if you would have sat down and talked to me, you know, basically, I guess she didn't have to leave. But when you said, I'm only here for my check. That's oh. when we was like, baby, you got to go. <laughs> you know? Did they show that? Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Oh. She's and, and um, what's her name? Um, Sweet Tea was she repeated it too, so she must have said it around. And she was like, babe, I'm just here for my chick, you know. And so anyway, but again, apology. I hope Toy Toya and Qua get in a better space. So anyway, Jackie was saying what Qua had did. Basically, Jackie was saying Qua needs to do uh she needs to get back closer to the ladies. That's one thing that, you know, Jackie was saying that she needs to get get closer to the ladies and stuff. And that's when they was talking about their resurface tape and all that stuff, whatever. So anyway, um, the ladies are talking. Mm, uh, oh, they were talking about quad don't return no phone call. This one Simone get, you know how Simone is. So she, they were talking about quad don't return the phone calls and and um um Quad said none of the ladies have called her and then like that. So Andy was like, okay, so both of y'all not doing it. Simone said, I reached out to Quad. I don't this was off camera. She said, I reached out to Quad when she had that incident that happened at her house. And Quad said, Simone, don't say that. Simone don't do it. Simone don't and I was like, Miss Simone not here, huh? She was telling her don't go there. You know, um and so what, what answer, man? Affinity. 
because Simone went there. She didn't hit. She kept on. And it was like, well, what incident? And so she said, like, and it was. <laughs> and so she said that um, when her and it was in the blogs and stuff, when her niece had um, passed away oh. in her swimming pool, she drowned. I think her great niece or something like that. And um, and then Simone, I mean, quad tears up and she cries and stuff like that. And she's and, you know, she said she was there. She went to Quad's house. Mm-hmm. And this was no cameras, no none of that. She went to her and checked on her. She wanted to make sure she was good and stuff like that. She said, but Andy, she don't do the same for us. She said, ask her how many times has I has she allowed me at her house? Not one time. She said, if we weren't filming, not one time. She said, without the camera, not one time. Quad don't invite us to her house. Quad don't call us. Simone said, I reached out to her when that situation took place and no cameras was around. And that's why Simone was so heated and stuff. Cause like I do for this girl. And then they was talking about the situation where they was like, well, you said that you was not going to say this because it was going to be coming against Toy." She said, let me tell you something. I know what I said. She said, this girl, she was talking about Toy. She said, Toya been my ride or die. She said, Toya been there for me. She done cooked for me. Eugene done cooked for me. They don't, uh, uh, she been there for me and I've been able to uh, like build me back up. She said, so no, I'm not finna come against Toya. And I get it. That's that real friendship right there. No, yeah. When you know who been there for you, mm. child. Well, Quad just look at the look at the ladies ladies as a paycheck, a job, a coworkers, you know what I'm coworkers, right? You know, she so she look at this whole show as like she said to get a check. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Apparently, Quad don't have a connection with other ladies because to me, a friend will rock with you with the cameras on or off. Yeah. So. And that's basically what Simone was trying to say. However, she said, Andy said, can you calm down? She said, I ain't finna calm down. Because if she telling a lie, I'm going to over talk her. And the only time I be quiet, she telling the truth. And Simone can talk real, real loud. Oh, yes, she can. <laughs> but Quad did say, Simone, I do appreciate you. You you did come and you reached out to me. You came and, you know, um, comfort me during my time of need. And so, anyway, um, I know that quad lost you know um a loved one um and it 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 was emotional for a little bit but it's still to me a little performance with quad and that's just my take on it it's just a little performance she gave me a little tube movie or something because yeah, she gonna get that tube movie it, it really too that <laughs> it was almost like she was looking for them to console her you know what i'm saying phaedra was like yeah and gave her some tissue and stuff like that but she was looking for more uh, console like a hug and the women she, come around yeah her, she was looking for around. more of that all and, she got was a tissue yeah <laughs> and, and i don't think that they receive it but anyway um quad talked to jackie you know they had wrapped and stuff like that quad talking to jackie and she was like you know jackie i can't believe you thought that i had released that tape she said yeah. She said, I was just, I was in a bad spot, a, a bad space in a bad spot, you know, but you know, that's just what I thought. She said, I would never do you like Jack. Jackie, you know me, she cried. I would never do you like that, Jack. You better leave Quad alone. I would never do you Let her do her that. acting skills, man. Let her do her acting, man. Leave Quad alone. She is trying to get her role in the Tubi movie. Yeah. And she would get it. And Jackie said, you. you know what? I would rather lose a friend than lose myself. I said, ooh, uh, that was a statement right there, honey. Mm-hmm. I would let, uh, me too, child. Let, I well, rather, you, agree huh? you agree with Jackie? You agree with Jackie? I do. I would lose a boop, boop, boop like that than lose myself, child. Because, so, yeah, because um, some friends, they would disturb your peace. Yes, they will. So, um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. You know, that was one and then we're gonna see two and three well apollo gonna be on there and the men and all that stuff i don't know i have something to talk about all this woman stuff man i just sit here okay cry fuss cry fuss that's all they do on these shows now the men gonna get on here and i have something to say well we're gonna let you write and take the notes and i'll shut up how about that fine. high five high five on yeah. that note you guys are gonna go ahead and get out of here one don't sentence. forget to go with god and god go with you <laughs> Oh, it's for God first. Do this. Hey.